Hello fellow campers, Jake Davis, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales. Here for another Feature Friday. In this edition, we're uh, showcasing 2019 Passport 3351. Uh, it is a double slide, two bedroom unit that actually features a bath and a half, which is fairly unique. On the front, it's got a really aerodynamic profile, and it does have a fiberglass cap on the front of it too, which looks a lot nicer, uh, cleans off a lot better. Rock guard underneath it. Help make sure that it doesn't scratch or get dinged up from rocks. It does have a power tongue jack on the front here, so you don't have to crank it by hand. A couple LP bottles with a cover on them too. Uh, this rig is, if you look underneath, you can see none of the tanks are exposed. They actually blow warm air down to it. it does make it uh, keep the tanks warm in colder weather as well. Uh, makes it a little more aerodynamic. You don't have the drag when you're towing it down the road. In the pass-through storage area here, there is a light that comes on automatically. A little sensor on it. Nice, clean pass-through storage area. You can see all the aluminum, all the welds are very well done. They weld on both sides. It does have a giant baggage door on both sides. A lot of products seem to cut the, the off-door side baggage door to a smaller door. And the passport doesn't at all. It would be able to get stuff in and out of there, both sides. Magnetic clip, hold the, the uh, storage door open too. And I have a little pigeon beaks, which can break off and fall. Uh, you do have a giant awning on this guy. Let's see that awning. Runs over both of the doors, which I know a lot of people like. So you don't have to come in and out of this extra, the second door uh, without protection from rain and sun. The back of the camper does have a nice outdoor kitchen. It does have Looks so great. <laughs> a couple little extensions for countertop space. This little sink. You can even use this as an outside shower. Put this over here. You got a spray nozzle you can hook on the other end of it. Clean off other things, the grill or kids, whatever have you. Little two burner range. And a refrigerator on the outside too. And again, same thing. It's got magnetic clip. You don't have to mess the little pigeon beaks. Uh, if you want, let's walk inside. You have to check out the half bath first. Go right to it so you don't have to go all the way through the camper to get to the bathroom. Kids don't have to run all the way through. You don't have to worry about them taking their shoes off, tracking through the camper. Uh, it does have a sink, vanity, an actual <laughs> vanity with a strong bulldog, a real medicine cabinet. You got some place for storage, uh, foot flush toilet. It's a nice high rise toilet, too. And step on in here to the second bedroom. Bunk lifts up out of the way and pins. So you've got more heads headroom for the kids if they're sitting in here. These little cushions come off. These do flip out and make a bed. They are loose, so you can pull one out if you don't want the kids sleeping right beside each other. Help them get to bed sooner. And there is a giant oversized bunk on this side too. The bunks are nice thickness and they've got that teddy bear um, covering on the outside of them. A lot of storage. This thing is deep. So you've got tons of space for bags and clothes. And those are nice deep on that side too. You can mount a television off the back wall. There are hookups on the top. There is a door to the second bedroom. Bottom just has curtains or accordion. You don't have to Mess with this to having a curtain recording actually keeps some privacy. And here features a big U shaped dinette, a trifold sleeper sofa. It does have a cool dimmer for the lights that you can use just turn off and on. You hold your finger on it and dim them up or dim, dim them down. Again, trifold sleeper sofa, there's plug ins and USB ports absolutely everywhere. You even have a couple, two sets of USB ports there in the kitchen area. Solid surface countertops, undermount stainless steel sink, nice high rise faucet, pull out sprayer, very residential. Got the recessed oven and range. Got a little backsplash. Uh, nifty lights on it, glass front, so you can see what you're cooking. Actually insulated better, heats better too. Eight cubic foot refrigerator, you'll be without. You'd quite be a camper if it didn't have a refrigerator. 
and these gas electric so you can run it going down the road um I don't know if you, did you see little blue lights underneath the dinette it's kind of cool too the tv and the entertainment center is on a nice swing arm so you can't get it out better viewing get to all your connections am fm cd dvd player built in here too you actually have a, a coat closet right when you walk inside the main entry door some extra storage and you can get a shot of the command center got all your buttons porch light ceiling lights your slides awning uh, water heater water pump your tank monitor is all in one place you walk up here let's check out the master bath it does have a radius shower again high-rise toilet nice size sink and vanity it's a good camera the other day. <laughs> um, and then the master bedroom you've got full length 80 inch queen size bed it's not the short one like most of the rvs have it does have plug-ins and uh, usb ports on both sides storage underneath it's even separated that's your his and hers you do have nice size wardrobes on both sides and storage up above the, the bed too nice little touch really makes it feel a little more homey um, is the uh, shiplap looking wood on the back side of the, the bed uh, this is the last or tomorrow is the last day for our clearance event this is the last 2019 that we've got uh, we've got it discounted at huge actually we've got uh, retail on it's 37,417 we've got it discounted uh, almost 10 grand to the 27,885 and again this is tomorrow's the last day of the event so come out and take a look at it uh, hopefully be the one to take it home